like, well, what made you, you know, like, I'm, I'm an older guy and blah, blah. I'm like, come on, cut the shit, David. Okay, you know I'm here. Cut the check. I'm not trying to do all this. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new You're my angel now cuz I'm not playing with you period today's story time is about Me going out With the sugar daddy and I don't even think he was aware of that actually I don't think he knew that he was about to become a sugar daddy <laughs> I think he knew to a certain extent. Okay, he was 60 years old. He should have known. We're gonna call him David I met David on Facebook dating yeah, Facebook dating. This was around a time I was having a really hard time. This is after my child's father and I had broke up. So, you know, girls be looking up like how ways to get money and it and sugar daddy is one of them. I decided to switch my settings to older men because it was it was probably like 60 to 90 years old. A lot of girls don't know about this. Change your settings if you want a sugar daddy. Do not be looking at people that's 30 years old and not even got no money. They're poor. No, I just wanted, I wanted to be on yachts, shaking ass, with a old grandpa in the back like, yeah, that's my sugar baby type shit. That's what I wanted. I also switched my location to a wealthier area around me, so I don't know. I don't know. It works. Just do it. Just do it. I always wanted a sugar daddy. I just never knew how to do it, so um, I had watched this girl's video, and I cannot remember because this was last year. Uh, I had watched a girl video, she told me what to do, like switch your settings and, and, and don't mention that you smoke or drink in your bio, just, you know, show your personality, don't be boring and don't say you're looking for money. Don't say you're looking for money, golly, like don't say that. Let's get to the part where we started talking. Okay, I deleted the messages, but I'm, I still have a lot recollected in my head. So I remember him saying, you know, like, what made you pick me? You know, I'm just an older guy. David was 63 years old. And I'm, at the time, I was 27, 26, 27. He obviously knew I was not looking to, you know, blow fucking bubbles and uh, and, and look at rainbows, bitch. I wanted money. <laughs> okay? I, without the sugar. I didn't, even, I didn't even want to give no sugar. I just thought I could find me a dummy. You know what I'm saying? But... David was a no dummy. We exchanged numbers after he found that I had interest in him. Um, no, play it cool. Play it cool. Me and David eventually started texting. So, after about a week of texting, we would talk about like, like, how's your day? What did you do today? Um, I would like to go on a date. You know, we would talk about dates. So, he told me I should make a reservation that we could meet in DC. Cause he lived pretty far in Maryland and I lived in Virginia at the time. So it was like a, we had to meet in the middle. And so DC was like popping. So I was like, let's go to DC. I knew this restaurant named the Odie Bit Grill. I wanted to go there, but we couldn't get the reservation in time. So we went to the Ocean View. I looked up the finest five star restaurant okay i looked up the finest five star restaurant okay if i want a sugar daddy i want him to know that i am expensive Fuck. i looked up the five star restaurant girl this was the i've never been to a restaurant like this very extravagant i really like this uh restaurant i was really nervous um i i think i dressed in like a red dress I had like small pearls on them. I know I had carrots in my ear and a small necklace. I did not do any eye, big eyelashes, big hoop earrings. I didn't do any of that because I knew that I wanted to be the classy type of baby, sugar baby. You know, like, I don't know. Look, it makes sense. So I'm nervous. I drive about 45 minutes to, to DC and he drives about an hour to get to DC. It was nice, okay? So I park my car, I tell him I'm here. I was so fucking nervous, yo. This shit was crazy. I was like, I'm actually doing this. Well, well. I'm actually. 
actually doing this? I've never did this before, ever. I go to the front of the restaurant. I walk in and I'm so fucking nervous. I'm sweating. I, I look like a little girl because my hair is in pigtails, but they're further up. And people were looking at me. <laughs> when I met David, and he was at the door, he was like at the side of the door, like waiting to get out seats for our reservations. When I tell you, it's like I farted in front of everybody because the way they were looking at me was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, and what are you doing here, okay? Like, I look, and I looked nice, like I looked nice. It was just the fact that when Dave came up to me, they were like, we see what's going on here. We see what's going on. I don't get embarrassed like that. But why was I so embarrassed? In my mind, I was still thinking like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, what am I doing? Why would I pick this place? Why would I be in public like this? He enjoyed the attention. It was like he liked it. He liked the attention that I that br that I brung to us. I don't know. We go to our seats. He didn't even hug me. I was like, great. You know, like don't even fucking touch me at this point. Cause I don't, it's it just giving, I don't know. Nah, nah. No sugar, <laughs> no sugar. It's old, oh, no, no, no sugar, no sugar. <laughs> like, I don't wanna. We sit down and everything. Uh, they give us our menus, they give us some water, they give us some bread. You, Bro, why? They have a, 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 a crumb, crumb guy that comes over and, and sweeps the crumbs up with a crumb sweeper. He's like sweeping up crumbs with the bread, from the bread. Sweeping up crumbs and shit. Sir, I can sweep my own crumbs off the damn table. What are you doing? It was fancy. It was very fancy. You sit down and people are just staring. They're just, they're just staring hard. They don't even care. They don't even care that I can see them. So they're eavesdropping on our conversation and everything. I can, I can see it. I can hear it. I, I, I can sense it. You know, I'm sensing it. He, he's like, you're so beautiful. I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like, you're, you're handsome yourself. <laughs> we look at the menu. I order some like, I have a picture actually. I think I, ha I ordered some mac and cheese and like, I don't know, something like fucking childish. Cause that's what, what the fuck kind of I am to him, a child. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't even know what the fuck he ordered. But anyways, I did order some like liquor and oh my God, this was the most beautiful fucking liquor in, in the world. Like I've never seen it before. It was a martini cup. I think I have a picture. It was a martini cup and the ice had a flower in it. It was a circle ice with a fucking flower inside and they put it in and it melts and the flower just floats on top of the fucking I mean, obviously the liquor was kind of gone before it even got there, but like what? I've never saw that. The rest of the restaurants, well, we don't have that shit, you know? It just seems very simple. Put a flower in some fucking water, freeze it, and then you have an ice, ice flower thing to put in people's shit. Anyway, the waiter comes over. He's looking at us like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what is going on? It's not just the fact that she's young. It's the fact that she's black. She's black and young, and she has pigtails. <laughs> Please, my hair was shorter. I didn't have nothing to do with it. I couldn't let it hang. I had to put it in the style. So we're talking about like just life. Like, what do you do for a living? Or, and he would tell me that his wife died. Oh, dead. It was sad though. Like he he was a widow. His wife had passed away, and he said he. I said, have you ever been in a, like this type of relationship? Like. Young, old. <laughs> He's like, yeah, actually, the lady was about in her 30s, um, hidden 40, and she was a, I think he did say she was black as well, but it didn't last long. He said that she was like looking just for money. And I was like, uh, <laughs> oh wow. Like, yeah, that is so fucking weird. He was like, well, what made you, you know, like I'm, I'm an older guy and blah, blah. I'm like, come on. Cut the shit, David. Okay, you know why I'm here. Cut the check. I'm not trying to do all this. You know? Um, so the date goes well. We we were there for about an hour. I remember the waiter coming up to us, not just sweeping the fucking breadcrumbs off the table, but also the guy asked for some beer or whatever in this type of 
fancy fucking beer. I'm like, just give him a beer. You know, why you gotta do all this fancy shit? Even David, he was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, okay, so the guy was just like, he's like putting everything, like he drops the cup, he puts the ice in, and he like pops the champagne or whatever the beer, 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 champagne, I don't fucking know. He pops it and he, he puts the towel over his thing like this and he's just, And he's looking at me. He's looking at him. He's, and so David goes, oh, yeah, just you can just drop, you can just you can just pour in there. You know, you ain't even gotta do all that. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, no problem. And he pours it in and he leaves the table. And he's like, if you need any, no, he looks at me before he leaves the table. He's like, and if you need anything, just let me know. And I'm like, okay. Why are you being so seductive? Like, just pour the fucking managed shit and leave. Leave the fucking breadcrumbs on the table. I don't care about the breadcrumbs. Why y'all eavesdropping so fucking hard? It was so obvious. Like, obvious. Like, obviously y'all was eavesdropping. Even the people across the table, they were like, I even had, like, I guess someone had, like, pointed at us, and the, ne the next thing I know, the guy's looking back, and I'm like, I can see you! I literally see you! So, like, I obviously see what's going on, and I know people are like, looking at me like obviously she's a sugar baby or and he he just has his focus on me but he I know he can sense everybody like you know like what's going on he was just telling me a bunch of personal stuff and how but he was also bragging about his shit now like he sent me a picture of his convertible very nice car he told me about the deed in his house on his house that he built for him and his wife that passed away. He's just lonely. He was a pretty cool guy. Like, he, he worked for the embassy. Um, very successful. Had money. Uh, he lived out on the river where he crabbed at. You know, it was he was, just, he was very interesting. And then he just got boring. You know, like, anyways. I can tell that some of the things that I would say he wasn't used to. Like, if I couldn't hear him, I would be like, uh, what did you say? Or what? And he was like... The fuck is she saying? It's, 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 I beg your pardon. I should have been like, I beg your pardon, because he did not like that. <laughs> and I think I said it a couple times that he was just like, every time like, <laughs> why is she talking like that? Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm young. So after the date was done, we get up. Uh, he asked did I want anything else. I also forgot when David paid for the meal, he didn't even look at the fucking bill. He slapped that motherfucking card down. Oh, okay, daddy. Don't. But yeah, I, I really like that part. That was the part I liked. I went to the bathroom, snapped some pictures. I have the pictures. Um, and I told my cousins, y'all, one day we might be shaking our ass on the yacht. We might shake it out, Anthony. Up. We might shake it out, Anthony. Up. And they're like, yeah, go, go, Angel, go, go, Angel. So you know, I'm getting encouragement. I go out. Um, he walks me to my car. Uh, not totally to my car like halfway down a block honestly his swag i couldn't i couldn't get down with the punk a you know it was it was it was he had this big ass blazer on i don't know what the fuck he was hiding i don't know a million dollars under his shit because that shit was big it was huge it was like wasn't his size and i'm like you could have just went shopping you know what i'm saying i don't know could have i don't know could have looked a little better he wasn't matching i'm like Ugh. at the end of the day <laughs> i don't want to be he hugged me. I felt that big ass jacket. This is the summertime, y'all. He did not need that fucking blazer, bro. He hugged me. And then he. This is like a lifetime movie. He went in for the kill. He kissed me. He kissed me on, on my fucking lips. <sighs> I've never been that traumatized in my fucking life. I, I haven't. Not, not in no dating scene. I've never been traumatized like that. His lips, I, his lips, <laughs> it's mainly his, his mustache. It was touching my little piece first. And I'm like, yeah. That's when I knew. That's when I fucking knew. I was like, I can't do this. I dropped the fucking ball. I can't do this. I, I, I literally can't do this. <laughs> like, I don't know how you bitches 
be doing it, but y'all do a good job because I'm not. I'm not. I continue to text him afterwards, see what I can get out of him. He does, he did want a second date, um, but then he started talking about like going on vacation and he was like when will you have time away from your kids and um because i want to go on a like a week vacation and he was gonna book everything it was really he was really nice because he was like i would get you a, a, another room if you feel comfortable but i didn't want to be there by myself like i was like can i bring my girl so we can at least check our ass oh my god that's what i want i was keeping my cousins posted and everything i let him know i said it, look david it's a lot going on in my life which it was um i just really kind of just needed money i didn't want to go out on vacation with him i didn't want to kiss him and do anything with him. i didn't want to do any of that and i said i have a lot going on in my life and i would appreciate it if we could just like slow down and um I just need to think about a few things and you know I don't I can't remember it was sort of in the lines of that but he was like just call me when you get a chance um and we just left it at that we didn't talk for a few months and then a few months ago I was like I wonder what what Dave is doing what David doing I'm not you know my life is better now where's the where's David the reason why I wanted to find David the second time <laughs> Me and my mom was having a conversation about the time I went out with David. And I was like, hold up, 63? My mom's 63? There could be, something could be rolling here. So I had David with the proposal. I told him that uh, I was dating to see uh, who would be good for my mom. And I feel like it would be a better fit for him and her. And he got mad. He said, uh, you don't think we are a good fit? No, I, I, I don't. I, I'm, li I'm literally in my 20s and you're in your 60s, man. What what other, what, what fucking fit? There's not, nothing's fitting, you know? Nothing, nothing, not that, nothing's fitting that, in that, you know? Like, it's not, you know? He, he got mad and he, he, uh, he, he stopped texting me. He probably blocked me after that. I don't this know. Maybe about how I went on a date with a sugar daddy. Didn't succeed and shit. I should have just let it go and roll. But I feel like if I could do it with David, then it would be plenty more. Even though it's hard to find sugar daddies because there's a lot of scammers out there. I felt like um, at least I got to experience it. And he was my first sugar daddy date ever. So I felt like if I could do that, then, you know, it would be easy for me to do it again. But you also guys got to be careful. Always be in public places. Let them know the truth, you know? I, I told him I'm not here for just money. Like, I just I want to have fun too. Like, I want to go out on vacations and stuff. And he tried to make that happen, but I just wasn't ready. And that's okay. So, if you're not ready to do anything like that, please do not force yourself, baby. You do not have to. But thank you guys for watching. That was a fun story time. I actually have so many fucking stories better than that. The sugar daddy stuff that needs to be a story time so thank you guys for was i chewing all that time thank you guys for watching and i appreciate you guys for uh subscribing to my channel i have what 557 subscribers so i am so happy just to have subscribers like all right angels love you bye